energetic today. Hopefully my energy will rub off on you if you're not already bouncing off the walls. Um, it is gonna be a it is gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good evening. It's gonna be a great weekend. Um, I'm very excited. Look at us, guys. We have 15 episodes already. Look at this See here. Same book. Same book as before. And all of this we've been writing. And that's actually, I, I really sit down and I write it in the book by hand every day. And it's so freaking fun. We've got an actual book and I can hold it in my hands. It's very exciting. I'm very excited. All right. Well, let's dive in to the final episode of this week. Um... And find out whether or not they get out of the basement once and for all. Probably the most exciting episode yet, in my humble opinion. So let's dive right in. Episode 15 of the Mysterious Ridley House. Audrey, Bianca, and Raphael didn't waste any time. They dashed towards the sound of the yell as fast as they could. Whether it was Tim in trouble or not, they wanted to help whoever was in danger. Hello! Audrey screamed as they raced down the hallway. Where are you? Do you need help? Poor Jim could not move nearly as fast as they could. He waddled along, but was left far behind. Jim, stay there, Audrey said. We'll come back and then we'll all go upstairs together. Audrey hoped that this was true. She hoped she and Bianca and Raphael weren't about to run into a troll, never to be seen again. It wasn't hard to follow the sound of the yell. They twisted around a corner and found themselves in the troll's lair. And there was Tim. Hi, guys, Tim cried. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Children, shrieked the troll. Children everywhere. I detest children. This ought to have been where all four children ran away, lickety split. The trouble was the troll was in between Tim and the doorway. There was no way the troll was going to let Tim through. You guys run that way, Tim said. Go back down the hall. Save yourselves. Tim, Audrey said, Tim, if we run away, then the troll is going to get you. You'd better believe I'm going to get you, the troll cried. She whirled towards Tim. No, just trust me, Tim said. No, Audrey said, I don't want you getting hurt. The troll couldn't decide which way to run. She looked at the three children in the doorway, then spun to look at Tim, then back again. Tim decided not to waste any more time. He dashed towards the back of the room. Tim knew that the troll had come from this lair into Jim's room somehow. He guessed that there was a secret passage between the two rooms somewhere. No, don't go that way, the troll snarled. She started to rush towards Tim. Hey, come back this way, Raphael yelled. Yeah, over here, Bianca said. There are three of us over here. Tim was grateful for friends at a time like this. The troll rushed back towards Audrey, Raphael, and Bianca. And she would have gotten them too, if not for what Tim did next. Tim found a pink button in the wall and he pressed it. The wall opened up like a door and sure enough, there was Jim's room. Tim spied the troll summoning Bell. He bounded into the room and rang the bell as hard as he could. He didn't stay to find out if the troll would come towards the sound of the bell or not, but he hoped that this would work. And it did work. As Tim raced down the hall, the troll stood straight up in reaction to the bell. She shuffled over to the vampire room like someone in a trance. Go, Raphael hissed. The three of them raced down the hall where they ran into Tim. All four of them flew through the basement until, where's Jim, Bianca said. Jim said he would stay right here and he didn't. I'm down here, Jim called. I followed the trail of stickers and I made it to the exit. Faster than a blink, the four children ran the rest of the way and joined Jim at the basement door. Quick, let's go, Raphael said, the troll is coming. Ooh, Jim said, but we can't go. There's another puzzle on this side of the basement door. If we don't solve the puzzle, we can't get out. And if someone doesn't guess the name of my coffin in two minutes, I'm done for. Just then, down the hall, they heard the troll shout, I'm coming to get you. All right, friends. 
That is the end of episode 15. Of course, there is a puzzle. Same puzzle as last time. They're going to have to punch something into the door, but it's a completely different puzzle. It's much harder this time. And let's hope you guys can solve it, because otherwise, I don't know what they're going to do in another two minutes when the troll reaches them at the end of the corridor. And of course, Jim needs to be able to run away with them. So hopefully, yesterday, you guys correctly guessed the name of his coffin. But I am not going to tell you whether you guessed it right or not until Monday when we find out whether or not they escape. And of course, if they escape, then they'll get back up to the upstairs and they have that letter from Madame Ripley in Tim's pocket. Um, and they will learn a lot more about what's really going on and the adventure will only continue. Um, so I am so excited to meet you guys again on Monday morning. Um, until then, remember to vote. Tell a friend if they're bored, bored, bored and stuck at home, have them jump on in on the adventure too. Um, and your mission for the day what should your mission of the day? Oh, of course your mission of the day should be to sing everything you say for at least an hour. And maybe this should be an hour where you're not interacting with your parents a ton. <laughs> or maybe see if your parents want to sing everything too. We'll see. Um, that is it, my friends. Stay as weird as you can possibly be. Stay the weirdest person that you've ever met. And I will see you guys on Monday morning.